And then there was the hammer. If I had a hammer, we should have done that song. But we didn't. So hammering is pulling off a finger, strumming, and putting a finger back down. So you, when you're strumming and you put a, take a finger off, put it back down, you're creating an extra note with just one strum. So it's hard to do this with your uh, strings muted because you want to show how a finger up coming back down and hammering on a string actually sounds. So we went, didn't go through any kind of muted string thing. So I don't even know why I'm talking about that, except I think it's kind of funny. So that's a G hammer. That's your bottom, however, whichever um, finger you use for your bottom string, your um, A string, G, C, E, A, A. You're strumming and putting it back down. Then we looked at D, bottom finger. It would, in my case, it's your pinky. In other people's cases, it may be something else, like your ring finger, if you play your D like that. But I highly recommend the middle ring uh, pinky version of the D. Leaves this one open for fancy other chords which may not seem at all important at this stage in your ukulele career, but it will be important later on, trust me. That was the D, D minor. We're going to use the index finger on the D minor. And you don't need to, you know, I'm pulling it out here for uh, sake of illustration, but all you need to do is pull it off just a quarter of an inch. We looked at the F. Again, using the index as your hammer. We looked at G7. We looked at a lot, just to illustrate how this would work. You might only use it on G. You might never use it on any of the other ones. Totally up to you if you use it at all. We looked at C which really you're playing an A minor 7 and dropping in a C, if that makes sense. A minor 7, dropping in your ring finger onto your C position. We did E minor, and I think we illustrated the middle finger for that. And C major 7, which is right next to C on the second fret, first string. And then we were going to illustrate how to use a hammer on wagon wheel, which we never did. But I would do that right now. And so your hammer strum is typically on the up, like in the island strum. It would be down, down, hammer, up, down, up, down, down, hammer, down, up, down, down, hammer, up, down, up. So that would look like this on a G. Down, down. Hammer, up, down, up. And you can play that first two downs with your finger, lower finger off if you just need to get ready. If you don't have that Craig Chi spider exercise mobility with your middle finger yet, pull it off. But you don't want to put it back down until to get that hammer sound. You want that up strum first and then you lay it down. Okay, and on a D it would be down, down, lay it down, 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 lay it down. So you get that. So the um, chord structure is G, D, E minor, C. So it'd go, so rock me, mama, like a wagon wheel. Rock me, mama, any way you feel. 
without the hammer. Rock me, mama, like a wagon wheel. Rock me, mama, any way you feel. Perfectly beautiful song. Here's with the hammer. So rock me, mama, like a wagon wheel. Rock me, mama, any way you feel. Mama rock me, rock me, mama like the wind and the rain. Rock me, mama like a southbound train. Hey, hey, mama rock me. Play it straight through, and then try it with a hammer. Just try it the first time with the G, then see if you can get to the D. See if you can get to the E minor. Just mess around with it. But uh, that's hammering. Adds a neat little subtle nuance to your strumming. Another arrow in your quiver. Your toolbox. Another tool in your strumming toolbox. So, enjoy. Write, call, ask questions. Ciao Bella, buongiorno, aloha.